have a nice cup holder and, and a place to store our stuff. Really comfortable. You get the spill here to accelerate and depending uh, how your uh, RPM is set up it will accelerate uh, uh, more or less. Uh, also just beside you got the, the reverse pedal. This is the Troy built Super Bronco XP 50 inch. So uh, this edition is the more heavy duty with the steel deck. Comp uh, compared uh, to other edition where um, it's uh, a plastic molded or some kind of stuff deck. Uh, two cylinder, which I think is MTB engine. Uh, of course, uh, some mistakes the guys I see, uh, they saw, like, for example, oh, there's a John Deere logo, uh, it's a John Deere engine. No, it's not. It's uh, whether it breaks a Stratton or a Kawasaki or a Kohler or MTB. You got the three bar, the full tank, half tank, and the uh, empty. So here we have the hour meter. Here we have the parking brake lock and release. Here's the PTO for uh, blade engagement. Here you have the, the keyhole with different function, and when you want to move in reverse. Um, you put it right here and you press the button here and the lights here will come on and then you'll be able to move in reverse. You press this lever and you can move forward or backward. The battery is located right here. Of course we get the, the trailer hook. Like here in the garage, move it freely. You want to pull this back and then you will be able to move it freely. So as I mentioned this is, a, this is the high grade steel deck edition that uh, look really rugged. That look really nice on each side from thick metal. So more deeply into the engine bay, everything is nicely placed. Here we have the hair filter, you just twist out this cap, come off and you have the filter. Here we got the engine oil with the dipstick. Here we got the oil filter. Underneath we got the oil drain plug. We got one there. And one there and then of course we got uh, each one uh, each spark plug on each side as it's a uh, V2 cylinder here we can have a better look at the, the fuel tank which is uh, I've been running around the, with the tractor on the yard for about almost an hour and uh, maybe not even a quarter of a tank. So it's uh, looks like it's fuel efficient, but uh, time will tell to have better data when the engine will be uh, all rotted up.